Today is National Dog Day, so joining us here on Sports Nation are Dr. Terrence Ferguson and Dr. Bernard Hodges of Nat Geo Wilds Critter Fixers Country Vets. I can't believe I got through that. I feel like <laughs> such a professional. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have been lifelong friends. Lifelong. You own and operate your own vet, right? Yes. Is there? When do you have that moment where you realize you're going to go into business with your friend? Oh, uh, you know, we're sitting around. We we met in college about 30 years ago, and we always loved animals. We was like, okay, let's start. You know, let's go out in the veterinary world. We went to Tuskegee. We got out. We weren't quite sure we was going to be business partners. We just knew we were friends. <laughs> and uh, maybe a year out, it was like, man, let's go into business for ourselves. And, you know, it's, it's worked out for the best, right? I guess. I don't know if it was a good idea or not. We didn't have any money. We only had each other and a veterinary degree. And so we just took a leap of faith, stepped out there, and a lot of sweat equity. And 20-some years later, here we are. I love it. The friendship, the passion, that's a great place to start. And you mentioned you also had the veterinarian degree, which for me is really interesting and means a lot too looking at y'all because black veterinarians only make up 2% of 2%. the practicing veterinarian po population. And so, first of all, I mean, what does that represent representation mean to you? And then because it wasn't common, right? right. How do you even find your way to that? Well, it definitely is very important to us because I've wanted to be a veterinarian since I was seven or eight years old. And, um, you know, I was from a very rural area, had a dog that was hit by a car. Okay. And, you know, what I, you know, I doctored the animal back, you know, all you have then is a little alcohol, peroxide, and paper towel. So I, I worked on this dog a couple of days and the dog got better. And it lit a fire in me and I thought I had done something very miraculous. Looking back on it, I think he probably had a little scratch or bruise, but I thought I had done something. But it inspired me to want to become a veterinarian. But it wasn't until I was a junior in undergrad that I saw the first black veterinarian. Mm -hmm. And there was a time there that I was um, discouraged a little bit because I hadn't seen anyone look like me that was a veterinarian until I met this guy, which is why it's so important uh, for Dr. Hodge and I to provide that look. You know, That's with, a beautiful thing yeah. about this platform. I mean... You know, this platform provides us an a area for kids who look like us to say, hmm, I want to be a veterinarian and I can be. I mean, we get emails, we get texts, we get calls every day saying, wow, my kid wants to be a veterinarian. And now that, you know, you stoke that interest. So that's a beautiful thing. I mean, mm -hmm. just, just spreading the word. Like, you know, it's only 2% of, of us now, but hopefully yeah. we can increase that number. Now, you guys are hanging out with us at ESPN. Obviously, right. a lot of dog talk to come, but we got to sure. get a little college football. <laughs> hey, yeah, okay. Dr. Ferguson, we, and yes, yeah. we're going doctor because when you okay. get that, you All use right. that. Okay. Your son is rolling with the tide, but y'all, uh, like, y'all are in Georgia. Is yeah. there a moment where, like, you got a little bit of, like, a Georgia feel for a Bama kid? Was there conflict? Oh, well, it's a, a <laughs> wedge between us right now. Right? But, so. but look, I, I'm close, so I'll, I'll tell you how close I've gotten. Well, you can keep going. Okay, so... My son, you know, through this process, it really came down to the University of Georgia and Alabama, and he chose Alabama. So I was like, man, we have to start roll tide. You know, that's your nephew. Well, what, what, what are you going right. to do? <laughs> so he said he has to roll, but I have he's to not roll. quite had I the I don't have yet. When the season starts, I'm going to get the top. The, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, that yeah, I, yeah, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got just the roll. So but, he, you know, being lifelong Georgia fans, yeah. and that's the one decision in the dirt. I never had him. I never even tried this way. Yeah. I said whatever's best for him is what we gonna go with, right. I, I, you know, and and that school on the uh, you, you know west, you can school on the west of us has 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 a very good football team. Is it, you it, can use the word best if you like to. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. We'll All right. All right. You, know, All right. you know what? They actually make house divided jerseys. Yeah. You guys can yeah. hear those. I'm so not yeah. sure in the south. <laughs> like, look, I've been around SEC for a long time. That's a house divided jersey yeah, that right. I don't think exists. <laughs> There's just a moment where you're like, wait, no, no, we can't be friends anymore. No, 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 no. Bark in the Park airs tonight, ESPN2. So what should we expect to see throughout the course of this event? A lot of fun, a lot of athletic dogs, a lot of running and jumping and cutting and jumping in the water. You know, it's almost like we were watching a, a game on yesterday because all the athleticism in these dogs, it's amazing, you know, what they can do with the right training. And you look at the same and you compare to, you know, college athletes to the dogs. There's a lot of work, a lot of training that goes you in in order for them to do that. You jump that 30 feet off a of dock? Oh, no. I this one dog not. went 30 feet off the, off the dock into the water. I mean, he dove 30 feet. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. That's Unbelievable amazing. athleticism. Yeah, right. I, I keep feeling like like this is like everybody else. Like you feel like you can be an athlete till you see re regular athletes. I always right. feel like my puppy can handle this, and then I see <laughs> what the pros can do. Check it out. Obviously, ESPN Absolutely. two tonight. Dr. Ferguson, Dr. Bernard, we appreciate you guys hanging out Thank with us. Right. Congrats on all the excess. Check out Critter Fixers too.